The Honourable Member for Launceston. Uh, thank you, Mr President. Mr President, at the heart of our communities are our people. And for a long time, the effectiveness of people power has been overlooked as a driver for meaningful and long-lasting change. Initiatives which look to bring the everyday person into decision-making processes often seem like they will bring good results, but can fall by the wayside, become talk fests or fail to deliver tangible results. I believe that the cause for this is that there is often a focus on implementing ideas that are too unwieldy, too undefined or which don't have a broad consensus. To my mind, the better and more meaningful approach is to leverage what assets already exist in the community and making them the best they possibly can be. This is where the City of Launceston's initiative of the ABCDE learning sites comes in as an innovative force. This stands for asset-based community-driven effort and is all about focusing on what's strong, not what's wrong. It enables a community to identify their assets, build connections and create change to benefit those living within the area. The development of a learning site is a 12-month process. To help coordinate this, the City of Launceston provides a place-based community connector <coughs> who guides a group of community members through a self-led, flexible process. The Bank of Ideas has a methodology which comprises eight touchstones, amongst which are the recruitment of a community team, hosting conversations to discover assets, engaging locals, building connections through social interaction, visioning and planning, implementing change and fostering celebration. This process is context-based and will vary in application from community to community. Considerations include the composition of the community, understanding age brackets, socioeconomic status, levels of education, demographic data and taking stock of the available assets and opportunities to support. Again, the program focuses on what's strong, not what's wrong. The challenge is for community members to move from being treated as customers, consumers, clients and patients in programs that aren't their own, and to start being treated as co-owners, co-producers and citizens in the design and implementation of actions that build their communities as healthy, caring and inclusive places and groups. Right now, this program is being rolled out in the suburb of Youngtown in my electorate and has already started making great strides towards achieving milestones. The Youngtown Builder Time event was held in mid-September and brought together people from right across the Youngtown community, utilising an informal space with conversations being facilitated by the community connector, Sarah McCormick, who's been involved with previous ABCDE projects. Sarah's role involves supporting, facilitating and mentoring the communities as they develop their visions and plans to encourage a celebration of achievements and reflecting on what occurs. Everyone's welcome to attend the Builder Time events and it's an excellent way to get in touch with other locals who want to make their community the best it can be. While in its reasonably early stages, the Youngtown ABCDE project already has some outstanding ideas to take stock about what it is they love about their community and get creative and how they'll continue to use them in new and novel ways, bringing people together to try new and fun activities, which will ultimately lead to happier, healthier young residents. Thank you.